Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to a short video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and recently many of you have been asking me what my latest graphics settings are. Now I've done a couple of these videos in the past but of course as time goes on and things change within the simulator we all continuously update our graphics settings striving to get the best balance between how the simulator looks and of course the all important performance and frame rates. Now, since my last graphic setting video, things have obviously changed. We've had more sim updates, world updates, and of course, the Phoenix version 2 has also been released, which is quite important to me on this channel, as predominantly, that's the aircraft that I most often fly. I've said on several of these videos in the past, and indeed on live streams when I've been asked the question, what FPS am I getting? I honestly do not care about the current FPS setting that I've got, but for me, 30 FPS and greater is plenty for flight simulations, because nothing is moving that quickly. It's not a shoot 'em up game where you need that 60 or even 100 FPS, because when you're on the flight deck of either a large airline or even a small GA aircraft, things aren't moving very quick at all. So 30 FPS is, for me personally, more than enough. I would be interested to hear, though, from you guys on what FPS you'd consider to be acceptable within Microsoft Flight Simulator. So please do leave a comment down below and let me know what it is you're striving for in terms of performance. And of course, getting that balance between how good the simulator looks and what FPS you're getting is quite difficult to achieve. One of the other big things that has changed since my last graphics settings video is the quality of the payware airports that we are getting. Pyrogy's East Midlands, for example, that recently came out, as well as Inabil's New York JFK. Simply stunning, but of course, this is going to have a performance impact when you've got all of your graphics settings turned up. And then that leads to stuttering in the simulator, which for me is the biggest immersion killer. I'd rather sacrifice a little bit on the eye candy to make sure that that I've got a smooth performance. No one wants to be coming in, lining up with the center line in that last 100 feet or so and getting jitters and stutters. Now I've got the RTX 3060 graphics card with 32 gigabytes of RAM and my full specs are listed in the video description down below. So you can see what system I'm using to get the images you're seeing on screen and then obviously in a moment, the graphic settings as well that I'm currently operating. Now, whenever I'm tweaking with performance settings or graphic settings, I always base myself at JFK or Manhattan because we know right from the simulator's release that this was one of the most demanding parts of the world in Microsoft Flight Simulator for computers to render and create the scenery. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. This is Inabuild's JFK, looking towards Manhattan there, which you can just see in the distance. And this was my old graphics setting. So you can see my FPS is about 34, 34 and a half. So let's now go and have a look at some updated graphics settings and we'll return here and see what the increase in performance is. Now, what I'm not going to do is spend ages on this screen and go and talk through every single graphics settings that's on here because many of you already know what each of these do. Plus, if you don't, you can just simply look at the right hand side and it'll tell you with a brief description of what each of these options controls. Simply pause the video if you want to mimic these settings and have a look at them, study them, etc. and apply them to your own simulator. So just going all the way through, you can see basically the graphic settings in question. I've got a mix of high and a few ultra, but there are a couple that I have turned down to medium and a couple of other options which I've actually turned off entirely. But those are the graphic settings that I'm now currently using. And in terms of the traffic settings, they're now displayed on screen for you as well, because we know that vehicles and workers, leisure boats, ships, ferries, etc., they all play an important part in performance. So what do these new graphic settings do in terms of my performance, for example? Well, let's head back to JFK and take a look. And you'll see with the new settings, we've gained close to about two FPS, which doesn't sound like much, but can be the difference between being a little bit stuttery and a lot smoother. And remember, of course, that this 
is Inibuild's JFK. Very, very high on performance and a demanding part of the world. If we have a look now at some, say, lesser demanding parts of the world, where I typically fly around in Europe and see that the FPS remains nicely above 30, doesn't give any stuttering, whilst the visual quality of the sim itself I'm happy with and looks really nice and immersive. This is also the Phoenix version 2 that I'm using to show on screen now and test this performance with the new graphics settings. I've also thrown in some weather so we can see those effects and how that also stacks up as well. And you can again see that FPS is holding quite nicely. It's nice and smooth. There's no stuttering or anything like that, which is essentially all I'm basically after. As a final test then, let's take the Phoenix version 2 over Manhattan and see what that looks like. Again, I'll just throw some clouds in there because they of course also affect performance and let's just take a quick look at this. Above 40 in the Phoenix in this part of the world, I'm more than happy with that. But again, everyone has their own individual preferences. So please do get in touch. Leave those comments down below. I'd like to know what settings you guys are using. Or if you decide to copy these settings, then please let me know. And let me know what performance you get from them as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have found this video useful, then please do leave a like. If you wish to support the channel further, super thanks are now also available on the channel. And of course, if you are new to us, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that notifications bell so you don't miss our future videos and of course, our live streamed flights. Thanks so much and I'll look forward to seeing you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.